Well, today, Houstonians with loved ones fighting the war in Israel spoke to our Devin Clark, sharing stories about what they're going through. He is live outside of the Jewish Community Center in Meyerland. And Devin, a lot of emotions are being felt by the people you sat down with, both good and bad. Keith, the two women you're about to hear from say that they are in fear for their lives here in America and they fear for their loved ones' lives over in Israel. But seeing innocent men, women, children be slaughtered, raped, they say that they are proud to know that they have family fighting against what they say is just pure evil. When we got the call, he looked at me and he said he was so scared. He was so nervous. Um, but he knew he had to do this. Sarah S. is speaking about her husband, an Israeli Defense Forces or IDF reserve soldier who left Houston to fight the war in Israel. And our family in Israel was calling us terrified um, and the atrocities just kept coming and coming on our phones. I knew for who my husband is, I knew um, that he was going to go. Sarah says her fear and nervousness is coupled with pride for the resilience of her husband and his fellow soldiers. He talked to me about finding strength when he saw them, finding strength when he touched the land of Israel. Um, so he's been training for the past two days. Um, they're securing areas within the South right now. Karen Benjamin has four nephews and one cousin living in Israel, also soldiers fighting the war. A lot of these soldiers, like except my family members, they're 18 and 19 years old. I mean, like just these, these past June, they graduated high school. They weren't even like fully finished getting ready for their jobs. But they were thrusted into a brutal battle. Benjamin shared these images of her loved ones on the front lines. And this FaceTime screenshot, she says, shows her sister-in-law and nephew saying a final goodbye before going out. Ever since Saturday, he's just been there just trying to help collect bodies, help secure. There are still, you know, there, until yesterday, there were still um, terrorists running around our city. The goal? To get hostages back and stop the terrorist organization Hamas from killing more innocent people and destroying the Jewish nation. The things that they have seen, they will forever, ever be haunted. To attack innocent civilians, babies, children, women, elderly, brutally abuse their bodies, rape these women. This does not enhance any sort of political movement. We also spoke to a man whose two brothers and cousin are in Israel right now fighting the war, and also a rabbi who has a message for people worldwide, and that is to not sit silent and speak up. We'll share that message coming up at 6 o'clock. For now, reporting live in Ireland, Devin Clark, KPRC 2 News.